Hello, Mihao and Anna, La Suerte Dance School. Happy New Year. Uh, we are meeting here today with you uh, as usual in the end of the year or the beginning of the year. Actually, now we are at the beginning of the year uh, to summarize the uh, whole previous year and to share with you our plans for the next 12 months. First of all, we would like to thank you all guys for being with us uh, here on YouTube for the past years. And because of you, we managed to reach amazing 10,000 subscribers. So now it's time for some explosions and fireworks. Uh, yeah. In today's video, we'll try to make a conversation between us. So Anna will interview me and she will ask questions uh, about the previous year and our pa uh, about our plans for the next year. And we'll try to discuss it uh, with each other and with you a bit. So Miha, thank you for joining us today. <laughs> Question number one. How did you feel the year went overall? Um, yeah, I think it was quite a good year. I, I know that I say this uh, every year and I always try to look at um, uh, things in a positive way, even during the pandemics. Uh, when we were making this kind of video, I said that I think we did quite okay. Having in mind the circumstances, I was quite happy with how things um, went. And the same I can say this year. I think it went well. Uh, we achieved quite a lot. I don't, I don't think you want me to answer uh, now about specifics. So in general, I think it was a good year. Uh, we had a lot of fun. Um, in general, in terms of business, we did better than the previous year as well. That's for sure. So yeah, it was a good year. And can you remind the viewers what were our goals for 2023? Yeah, so we already discussed this uh, one goal, that, is, that was our goal with you, to have this 10,000 subscribers. Uh, to be honest, it was a relatively easy goal and we didn't put as much um, effort in YouTube channel as we should. And we, we should apologize for that. I mean, obviously, it's not like we did nothing. We promised you last year that we are going to produce shorts uh, so you don't have to watch all long videos if you want to review the move. And we did that. We did that for beginners classes of beginner salsa classes. We did that for intermediate salsa moves. We've produced quite a lot of shorts. They were coming up uh, during the year, but we didn't produce many long videos. That's for sure. And um, that has to change uh, for the next year. But from a personal point of view or from our day to day uh, operation uh, perspective, the most important for me uh, was to actually work less this year. That was the main goal for the year. It didn't work. Uh, I mean, it didn't work and it did at the same time. It didn't work because I was still here almost every day. And it did work at the same time because finally now we have teachers who are capable of doing classes uh, without me. So that's obviously amazing achievement. And because of that, this next year will be a lot, a lot easier. Yeah, so that leads on to the other goals we had to get more people teaching, didn't we? That yes. was one of the other yeah, major, obviously. major goals. They were, they were connected goals uh, and we managed to do that. Uh, it took quite a while, obviously, to uh, train teachers who will be not only good, but also accepted by students. And uh, to be honest, I think they are doing incredibly well. And I mean here, Claudia and Chema doing intermediate classes. Then uh, Zbyszek uh, started teaching with Isa this year. He's doing uh, beginner salsa and the same uh, with Rikesh. So they are all new into teaching. Obviously, Helena and Jade started uh, doing classes this year as well and Angelos uh, started doing Rueda classes. Then Robert came back doing Rueda as well. So in general, uh, there are quite many new people. And like I said, I think they are doing well, not because I think so, but because they are getting very, very good feedback uh, from people. And obviously people keep coming back to their classes. So that's uh, the best measure of the uh, success. Mm -hmm. And the other goals we had, which um, didn't receive as much attention because all most of the focus was going on training the new teachers was going on making our digital platform. Yeah, so th this goal uh, has to move now to uh, 2024. Uh, and I don't want to go into that because Anna definitely will ask me for, for goals and uh, plans for 2024. But yes, we wanted to 
uh, push a bit more online and and this is definitely not only the goal but this will be the focus of, of, of this year when we did push a bit we created some elements we started some other things in the background that are not published yet but um, in general uh, this year will be all about the uh, digital salsa world for us so we'll definitely push uh, on YouTube, we'll, you'll see us a lot more, we'll record a lot more videos, uh, we will uh, be more active on Instagram and probably we'll start TikTok as well, because why not? Uh, and we'll go in many different areas online, but uh, maybe we'll not talk about it yet. Once it's done, we'll let you know. So the, the next question was, which I think we've already covered, which goal had the best results? And I think for us, for sure, it was definitely getting the new teachers involved, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely. So that's that was the plan uh, for, for this year. And obviously, we're not stopping there. What I like about, about the current uh, teachers group is that they don't, don't stop improving. This is the, the, the coolest part about them. So even when they started teaching, sometimes when people do that, when they become a teacher, they just say, okay, I'm amazing now. I have to, I can just do whatever I want now. I don't have to improve anymore. And this is uh, this year is exactly opposite. They all want to improve. And because of that, they push on us, they push on everybody else. And our whole community is benefiting from, from it, including uh, us too, even when it comes to uh, our dancing. Because now when we prepare advanced class, will have to have in mind that they are there and they are expecting a bit more than they than they used to yeah uh, and in general um, when we talk about this improvement and and getting dancing better we should mention in general all our students in the context of uh, improving general average level of dancing so this year first time after Pandemics, we managed to create intermediate plus class, so the next level. So we have beginner's course that lasts four months, then intermediate course that lasts four months. And now we have intermediate plus course that also lasts for four months. Uh, and it was uh, quite well attended. Uh, and there are quite few people who wanted to learn a lot more than just uh, basic moves and combinations. They wanted to dig a bit more into depth of uh, Cuban dancing. So that was very, very cool. Obviously, we have advanced classes as well, but we kept going uh, with them as well. But advanced classes are obviously only for a um, relatively small number of people. But like I say, first time after the pandemics, we managed to recreate. I say recreate intermediate class because we used to do in upper intermediate classes with, mm -hmm. uh, where the concept was uh, relatively similar. Uh, but after the big drop, like 2020, it was quite difficult to rebuild this uh, level of dancing. And now we managed to do that. So that's mm -hmm. a very nice achievement for, uh, for the previous year as well. And actually push the advanced level even higher. Thanks yeah, that. definitely. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's what I mean. Because, because we had this intermediate plus class, because we have new teachers who are very keen on learning new things, uh, advanced classes could uh, improve as well. So we talked about classes. Tell us how the parties were this year. Mm. I would say that parties this year were uh, quite good. Some of them were very good. Some of them uh, were so-so, let's be honest. And uh, next to uh, the goal of improving our online presence, I would set another one in here. And I would concentrate on bringing more people to parties and obviously encouraging pe our students to social dance more. I would say this is um, one of the elements that has changed um, after pandemics again, that people are actually pushing themselves on improving, coming to classes, working hard, but then many of them, and I mean percentage-wise many, are not using this uh, new skill that they are learning for social dancing, but I kind of don't understand. And even if you look at it from purely progress perspective, it's very important, obviously, to utilize your skill and to practice because it works the same way as learning foreign language. If you want to speak well, you have to, you have to be brave and at some point talk to people. And the same happens with dancing. If you want to be more fluent in dancing, you have to start dancing with random people. This is pretty obvious fact. I don't think I have to um, tell you more details about it. It seems like something very, very, very obvious, uh, but definitely it's our role to encourage you guys to uh, be part of our dancing scene and we'll definitely push on that. Like when it comes to the parties uh, this year, my favorites obviously were in December. So um, 
the party when we did the international dinner. It's uh, the evening when we share food with uh, each other. Everybody brings food for characteristic for their country, not necessarily Christmas food. Uh, and we shared that was really, really cool. And then now there is a lot of pressure on doing it more often than once a year. Uh, and uh, Christmas party itself with the live music was very uh, cool as well. Great atmosphere, a lot of energy, a lot of people, uh, fantastic band performance. And in general, I would say that that was another good thing that happened last year. As a band, we performed a lot more. We played uh, more regularly during um, during the year on many, many different occasions. Uh, I think the quality of music improved as well, uh, quality of sound in the room. So in general, many good things happened with the band. And I know that Anna wants to mention the musicality workshop that we did with the band as well. That was a very cool event um, when we encouraged you guys to join us and play some music. That was very, very cool. We taught some simple parts. We were concentrating on song on this workshop that we organized. It was just in December. Uh, and we taught people parts. We taught them a bit of singing, a bit of percussion, a bit of other elements, and everybody joined uh, to play music together. And it was a uh, very cool experience. I would say that was one of my favorite workshops this year. So yeah, definitely a positive aspect as well, uh, how the band developed this year and how uh, many occasions we had to present the band to you. Mm -hmm. So that leads on to the next question, really, because um, that was a really cool event we had with the band, The Musicality. So what other events and cool things did we do this year? Yeah, we did, we did a lot. Obviously, uh, always the highlight of the year is the flash mob that we are doing. And this year, flash mob was very good. The weather was fantastic. Mm -hmm. Lots of people. Uh, we dance outside, uh, obviously, as, as every year. And we are going to do it this year as well. And I will announce the date now. It will be 21st of April. So put it in your uh, calendars. Book yourself this day. 21st of April, we are going to dance. Uh, on St. Peter's Square again in Manchester, we're going to dance Rueda and obviously you're welcome to join if you live locally uh, You can join us if you don't live locally You can travel as well for that day and join us uh, for Rueda. Yeah, you could come for a waiter and then stay <laughs> for the party later <laughs> Yeah, definitely. So that will be 21st uh, of April. That's the plan. Uh, we are not following really the official international date because um, We are dependent here on the weather. So Manchester I don't know if you know, maybe you talk, we talked about it a lot uh, or in the past or not, but the weather in Manchester is not the greatest. Uh, but there is this time of the year when it starts getting better and normally it's uh, uh, around uh, mid-April onwards. So yeah, that's why 21st of April. Um, and it doesn't collide with any other events that we, when we checked quickly, I don't think there is anything else going on meanwhile. So yeah, 21st of April. Uh, Rueda flash mob. We are going to start preparing straight away now from this Monday uh, and every Monday you want, if you want to join the uh, most challenging group you can join us but obviously we'll do multiple levels uh, so everybody who is actually into Rueda or who knows the basics of Rueda will be able to participate. We've done many um, events with the band I think we started with Valentine's party and then we did some uh, spring party, we did some summer party, we did back to the school party, mm -hmm. obviously Christmas party, we participated in this very art festival, that was another uh, uh, cool through, outdoor event. Uh, we, yeah, because but what, is, what is nice about it is uh, that you guys like to go out to people and dance. Yeah? Uh, it's also like when we say about the social dancing, it's different when you are kind of enclosed environment when everybody around you is dancing. And it's very different if you go out and people who are watching you are not dancing. Yeah? Then they actually truly appreciate uh, what you learn because comparing to them, you are obviously a salsa superstar. Mm -hmm. So uh, we did that as well. And, and that's the plan for this year as well. We want to be part of uh, many different events this year. Like basically wherever we find anything exciting, interesting, uh, we'll go and join it. Uh, and uh, one of my small goals for the year is actually to find a person uh, in here at Asuerte who will be our event manager. Uh, I can call probably this function this way. So a person who is going to find this uh, interesting events for us and who, will, who is going to push and encourage others or at least me so I can encourage uh, everybody else. So let's look at the YouTube statistics now. How did YouTube do last year? Okay, let me put it up. We did better than the previous year, that's for sure. So our uh, subscriber count uh, is on 10,477 uh, when we make this video. 
when we watched the previous uh, year video, just for comparison, we said in, the, in it that we needed 3.3 thousand subscribers to reach this um, 10,000, and we did 3.7 thousand uh, last year. And again, I don't want to say it, it was just like a ball rolling, and uh, but we definitely could do more if we pushed harder. So this year we promise to push harder. So the next goal is obviously 15,000. So we'll have to improve again. So now we need uh, over four and a half thousand subscribers extra this year to achieve this goal. So we are putting uh, a bar a bit higher, uh, but I'm quite confident that we will manage to uh, achieve it. Uh, we had more views uh, than previous year, 427 thousand views yeah nearly half a million views that's decent eh? especially that our uh, channel is uh, educational maybe we'll make it um, more entertaining as well because i think the entertainment um, part of it is missing and that would obviously generate a lot of a lot more uh, views we improved also on watch time uh, over 22,000 hours uh, that's a lot i don't want to check how long it is but i would guess that's like around two and a half years uh, of uh, watching us all the time. Um, yeah, so in general, channel grew, we added some new videos, we built shorts uh, section, so there are a couple of playlists with shorts. This year we are planning to do definitely more Rueda content. We are, like we told you, we are preparing for this flash mob, um, but we would like to produce content uh, also for our uh, students, so when they come to class, so they can have a perspective from high to see your Rueda, to see how the changes are happening. And um, sometimes when you are learning Rueda, it's difficult to um, acknowledge what is happening around you. It's a relatively different skill in comparison to learning just salsa in a couple, or definitely different than if you are dancing solo. So we are going to produce more Rueda content, and this is going to happen very, very, very soon. Uh, we are going to uh, do a lot more uh, Afro stuff as well. Um, Dancing-wise, maybe. Music-wise, maybe. But definitely will uh, produce quite a lot of theoretical content. Uh, about Afro, because uh, what we notice is that you guys sometimes need this entry point when you start learning something. And when Anna is asking about the performance on YouTube, obviously the best performing videos uh, are the introductions to multiple um, to multiple playlists, to multi multiple courses that we did. So introduction to song, to Rumba Wawanko, uh, Obviously, beginner salsa, but the, then probably on um, beginner salsa course, actually not the first class is the most popular, but the class that is teaching Dile Keno. Uh, <laughs> but again, this is this, this basic component that when you guys start learning dancing, this is something what you really, really need at the beginning. Uh, and you always need this, yeah, like I said, this, this, this first steps. And for Afro, uh, understanding the theory of it is quite important as well, and understanding the context. And these are definitely videos we can produce relatively easy because we'll just sit down and do them, so they don't require a lot of uh, technical involvement, yeah? So uh, we will we'll prepare that for you, and that will all appear on our channel uh, quite soon as well. So we covered our YouTube goals for next year. What are our other goals in the dance school for 2024? So first of all, definitely keep up the good work that we are going, uh, that we are doing in here uh, face to face. I'm very happy with, in general, the team that we have, and probably I should um, thank to everybody right now, everybody who was involved uh, this year. So I mentioned already all the new teachers, but obviously, there were many teachers that are, there are many teachers that are with us. Uh, they've been with us for many years. So uh, obviously big thanks to Isa, who was always, uh, who is kind of running ma majority of things in here and introducing these new guys uh, to Salsa World as well. Uh, then we have uh, Adriana, uh, T, Jess, Igor, Isabella, um, Carlos, uh, Olga, Andrea, who else then, uh, should I mention? Natalia. I didn't mention Natalia. When I say it always from head, I always forget somebody. So if I forgot you, I am really sorry. Uh, but we, we appreciate your help, obviously, this year. And thanks to you guys, obviously, we have a lot of fun. Uh, people who come here have a lot of fun. I already said that, that we did relatively well with teaching aspect. 
Um, when it comes to teaching, we are producing now the booklet for uh, intermediate classes, um, listing all moves for intermediate course, for Rueda classes, all the steps, and we are going to print it out very, very soon. I actually, I actually finished designing it uh, last night, so yeah, I'm literally in a couple of days. Uh, you should have access when you are coming here for classes too. The intermediate classes booklet. I know it's exciting. So many of you were asking me about it. Yes, and uh, online as well. We had so many email inquiries about it. Yes, yes. <laughs> Come on, do you have intermediate one? Do you have intermediate? They obviously, beginners works very very well, and it is amazing resource for learning. Uh, this is this is another thing about about this YouTube channel. We treat it a bit like a learning resource for for our students and i know that many of them are using it um, for recaps uh, on regular weekly basis so yeah that that obviously works well so uh, coming back to goals oh i just want to add um, in terms of thanking people and creative we should thank our oldest daughter because she's done quite a lot of creative things for us this year yeah definitely she decorates um the room at different events for halloween and christmas and she's helped print t-shirts and she designed the away to flash mob t-shirts so yeah, yeah. thanks evelina <laughs> she's in the next room so i thought we'd better <laughs> put that in there <laughs> And when it comes to other goals, we definitely want to continue with developing uh, our teachers. So uh, I say that in every New Year's video, if you feel like you have something in you that uh, would make you a good teacher and you would like to give it a go, you can always come to us and, and, and chat about it. The most important aspect of becoming a teacher is obviously strong will to do it. So if you have this new year resolution, we can connect it with um, our plans. Why not? But the more important aspects for more important elements this year for me is to find people who will uh, work with me on online uh, side of it and in many different aspects. So again, if you have some online skills and I'm talking about quite wide range of skills that we could uh, technically used because last time we told you about the website that we want to produce that would organize the content that we are producing and would help you to again keep a tr keep track of everything what you are learning uh, we want to make an app um, a super uh, detailed project and i don't want to talk about it in this video but once it's ready i will tell you uh, and obviously if you feel like uh, you know a lot about Instagram or TikTok that I don't know much about uh, and you would like to get involved in this uh, part, obviously, you're welcome to join us as well. So again, like if you want to be a part of community, if you want to be part of our project, you're welcome to join that as well. Uh, when it comes to business, uh, we want to, first of all, we want to grow. I think we're still, I mean, I don't think, I know that we are still growing comparing if we compare year to year, uh, there is a progress and obviously we would like to um, keep it going. So the progress has to happen this year. And from business perspective, we will concentrate this year also on different sources of revenue. Maybe I'll make another video um, in the cycle of how to run a dance school in which I can talk uh, about uh, what we are making money on. Uh, because obviously most of it comes at the moment from uh, dance classes, but many different sources of revenue are possible when you are running a company like that. People are always asking us, uh, oh, what new classes or uh, what new things are going to happen this year? And um, there are definitely some classes that I would like to organize better or revive, especially when it comes to Roomba, or stuff like that, because I can see that you are slowly, slowly getting interested in it. So they need a bit more organization. They need a bit more planning. They need some structure. Uh, so we are going to work on that. But uh, to be honest, we are not going to introduce anything completely new because part of the success of our business is that we are concentrating on relatively um, small range of products, let's call it and we try to do them as well as possible. It, it's not about introducing many, many, many different products and do them in a rubbish way, because many of you are telling me that, oh, I went to this class, yeah, it was something new, but people couldn't teach it, yeah? Um, I don't want to land in this position when, when people start saying like, oh, they don't know what they are doing. Yes, we know what we are doing, and this is something what we are proud about. 
I think we have a very exciting year ahead of us. I'm super excited about, guys, your energy and everything what you bring to this place. And obviously, uh, you guys online as well. Um, I will try to keep these conversations between us going. So we'll try to see each other online a little bit more. Who knows, maybe we'll uh, meet even more often uh, live. Maybe let us know in comments if you would like us to get back to our live classes. Maybe you would like to isolate a bit uh, together or maybe we'll do some salsa solo. Definitely it would have to be something solo. Obviously the music still is still an issue a bit on YouTube, especially when you are doing uh, when we are doing live classes. But I always like this uh, interaction. So when we talk to the camera and you uh, give us good ideas in comments. Uh, so if you have an idea, if you if there is something you would like us to do, um, leave a comment and maybe we'll do something about it. Who knows? And one more time, thanks for all the previous year. And uh, hopefully you'll be with us during 2024. Uh, we are looking forward to everything what is going to happen this year. Um, we promise that you will see us more often on YouTube uh, and we'll produce a lot more content. Uh, and you'll see us like as regularly as possible. Uh, two years ago, we managed to do video almost every week. Right? Like out of yeah. 52 weeks, I think we did like 48. <laughs> Previous year was a bit worse. I think we did in total like 37 or 38. So a bit less. But this year will be good. This will this year will be exciting. This year will be busy, uh, and I, we would like you to be a part of it. So thanks for watching this video. Thanks for watching all other videos, and we will see you. Uh, next time and obviously if you didn't subscribe you know my song like subscribe and press the bell like subscribe and press the bell you can follow us on facebook you can follow us on instagram you can become a patron of our channel or you can become a member here on youtube you see how many things i have to say now uh, but it all works it all helps us to grow um yeah so if you want to do any or, or all of it a uh, big thank you and we'll see you in the next video thanks Bye.